this what we doing? We going from Netflix and chill to Netflix and children twerking? For y'all that think this hypersexualized pedophilia is coincidental, let me present the facts. Netflix location, California. The same California that upholds rights for pedophiles to marry 10 year old kids. The same California with pedophilia is being taught as a sexual orientation at schools. Wait, there's more. Susan Rice, board of directors at Netflix, is the same Susan Rice who was once Obama's advisor and Clinton's assistant. That's an important piece of information. CNN decides to give Netflix a pass and support this pedophilia they're promoting. Hmm. Pedophiles be extended some measure of sympathy. Are we doing enough to identify and help pedophiles? Let's protect our babies by any means. What does QD stand for? Children you take and enjoy sexually? Nah, ain't no Netflix account stronger than parental accountability. God bless. What doing guys? Myself, Chris Pretty OBE, hitting you with a quick one. Real talk, true season. Now, I don't even need to say nothing. All I need to say is, this is something that you're gonna have to get used to. Everyone's looking at me like, what do you mean, Chris? I just saw these girls skinning out. Yeah, because we do that. We sexualize ourselves anyway. I'm blaming the parents. How about that one? I'm sticking on the parents straight off the cuff. Like, what was it in that parent's mind, all them parents' mind, that sat there and thought like, oh, this is going to be a great thing for my daughter. Claim to fame? I'm sick and tired of you parents waiting and, and trying to use your kids on a claim to fame. How dare you? How dare you put your child through that? How dare you sexualize your own child? We can talk about Netflix in a minute. We can talk about the producers in a minute. We can talk about all of that, but it got to a stage where a mother allowed their child to be sexualized. We're sick. We're nasty. I'm gonna start keep showing you look pictures. Just keep looking at all these pictures that keep popping up on the screen. It's nasty. Pedophilia rings, it's nasty. We've been hearing about the pizza gates where they are preying on our young people. They're, they're stealing our young people and sexualizing them. But then at the same time, we sexualize them. How much times have you seen a parent in a beach or whatever and a little baby's wearing a crop top? The baby's about four or five and she's wearing a crop top and a little bikini. And what are you doing? What are you doing? Are, are we all right? Are we okay? Oh, we look cute. Oh, she looks nice. This is the reasons why. I can't understand the facts of we can sit there and watch things like that and say boycott, boycott, boycott nothing. Boycott your mother. How about that one? Boycott your own mother. Because we ain't boycotting nothing. Gucci will do the same thing. We don't boycott nothing. m and whatever, boycott. Don't do nothing. We don't do nothing. We scream and shout a lot, but no one does nothing about it. You've got people that are right now that are incarcerated, in prison, right now, for selling drugs, right now, for knife crime, for shooting, for guns. They're criminals. They've done something wrong. They're in there for nine, ten years. A paedophile will get three to four years, be back out in your community bar, preying on your kids again. But guess what? You don't always sit there and go on like social media, you've got that on lock, you do not control and you do not own social media. So everything you put out and everything that you do is not owned by you. Your pictures, your phone, your everything, anything, any content that you put on social media, you're basically saying that you are allowing anybody to take this content. And that doesn't just mean take this content and put it on Instagram. Don't even mean to take this content and put it on Snapchat and Facebook. I'm talking about sex sites. I'm talking about other sites which you wouldn't even believe and know that you're on. All your children are on. So all of you parents that want to sit there and automatically create a page for your baby, for your child, and you're just turning up every five minutes, leave them to be a child. Leave them to grow up because you're the one that are putting them in harm's way for prey, for victims. To be coming in and sliding in their DMs, pretending that they're nine years old, pretending that they're 10 years old, playing the Call of Duty, playing all these little roadblocks and all these little games that our children are playing, there's predators out there. The government don't care. How much time have we been seeing so much things been happening? And we're looking at these people like, raw, you're people in power. You're people that I used to look at and be inspired by. You're a celebrity. So what? We keep saying these little titles like to say they're not human beings. Like to say human beings ain't messed up and nasty. We're the ones that are crazy. We're the ones that are nuts. The world is meant to be the world that is meant to be. The reasons why the world is going to shh, excuse my language, is because we keep building on it. Running around cars and building and infrastructures and all the rest of it. We don't care. We're not even meant to be doing what we're meant to be doing. We consume so much. We eat so much. We don't care. 
You guys go on like you really, really care about young people, really, really care about life, really, really care about war. You don't care about nothing. You know why I can tell you don't care about nothing? Because you will still go to Nike and go and buy trainers, knowing that there's a kid in a sweatshop in India or China that's nine years old, stitching that, getting slapped up, beaten up, telling him, shut up, make them trainers. But you don't care, you spent 120 pounds on it. You're fly, you're rocking. That's your mentality, this is our mindset. So when you're sitting there, this is what I talk about programming. When we talk about programming, if you, let's break down programming, because if you're gonna talk about programming on a real, real level, this is programming at its finest. Social media is a new way of programming. There's so much things that we do that we think that we're in control of. I've got my own mind, I think that myself. I'm so woke, I'm so religious, I'm so this. Shush, be careful with what you're saying because you don't control nothing. They're controlling you. They understand you more than you understand your own self. They know what you're gonna do before you even done it. We've seen the little adverts that pop up on Facebook, but you was looking at it on Amazon, but it's now on Facebook, or now it's on Instagram. This is lie, that's lie. They know what you're gonna do by the time you've woken up. How much times do you wake up and you're automatically grasping your phone? That's the first thing you think of before water, before even washing, before even making sure that you're okay, being thankful for the day, being thankful to get up and meditate, whatever, the first thing you do is grab your phone. Not to call, not to see if you've got any messages, to go straight to social media. All to see if you've got the clicks and the likes. All to see if you've got some shares. All to see if someone liked your page. All to see if someone slid in your DM. All to see if your page is popping, it's disgusting. We don't have real friends anymore. When was the last time you had a real friend? When was the last time you went out and saw a real, real friend? I'm talking about, we've got so much friends. You've got bare followers on Instagram, innit? Bare likes, bare shares. How many friends do you have? How many people can you call? How many people can you rely on? How many people can you sit there and say, do you know what, they have got me? Disgusting, guys, and this is the society that we live in. So unless you're gonna look at it on a real, real bar line and say, do you know what, I'm gonna change my mindset and I am really gonna put tests and put steps into place to make sure that I ain't gonna be watching Netflix. I ain't gonna be doing that because I'm gonna educate myself and I'm gonna start reading more. I'm gonna start inspiring myself. I'm gonna start meditating. I'm gonna start doing things and not allowing myself to turn around and be like, my life is not where it needs to be because I feel like I've got so much going on. No, you ain't got nothing going on. You're on social media. You're on Netflix more than you're on doing your own life. That should let you know who's in control. That should let you know how much fear is run by you. Because you know if you speak out, oh, God forbid if you speak out and lose your good job. God forbid if I speak out and someone comes for me. God forbid everyone's like, Chris, be careful, be careful. Why are you telling me to be careful when I'm the only one that's standing up and speaking? You should be rating me and be like, Rod, do you know what, big man? I'm speaking up with you. I'm not gonna allow you to sit here and be alone and then slide in your DMs and be like, rah, like, I was thinking the same thing. No, speak it with me, shy it with me, proud and loud, because I don't care. I don't discriminate. Right is right, wrong is wrong, and this hair is wrong. I don't care what anyone else has got to say. Welcome to Unapologetic. Here are our services. The Village, an online community. You good, online support for men. Big Sis, online support for women. Be part of the Unapolic conversation. Join us today at www.weareunapologetic.co.uk.